Welcome back to another episode of an insider guide to New York City, presented to you by the Sanat Metovich team. This week, namely, we will go over some insider realtor tips for the first time home buyers in New York City. Before you even consider buying a home, you should start saving money for a down payment. Purchasing a co-op apartment will require a minimum of 20% down, a lot of times more than that. And if you're buying a condominium unit, you can put down as little as 10%. However, in that case, you would be paying a PMI, which stands for a private mortgage insurance required for all mortgages with less than 20% down. This naturally will add to your overall closing cost which can range anywhere from 3 to 6% of the purchase price. It is crucial to check your credit before you start home buying process and take care of any liabilities that could be bringing your score down. Try to pay down or pay off all debts and avoid opening new credit cards. In order to get you that all-important pre-approval letter, a lender or a mortgage broker will check your credit, verify your income and assets, cash in the bank, in order to determine what you can actually afford. And believe me, this is usually a completely different number than uh, what you initially had in mind. Having a pre-approval letter when making an offer on an apartment is essential, and I wouldn't do it without one. Having a buyer broker representation is a must for the first time home buyers for many reasons. For one, it doesn't cost you anything. Your broker is generally paid through a commission split with the seller's agent. Listing agent represents seller's best interest, so it is important to have someone on your side to negotiate the price, terms of the offer, help you navigate through the complicated co-op application and interview process, connect you with the right lenders and contractors, lawyers, and overall act in your best interest. Lastly, your broker can often find those off-market properties that you normally won't see online and help you with multiple bid offer situations. And finally, stick to your budget and have some money left over. With your broker, look at those properties that are right at or slightly below your maximum pre-approved budget. Most co-op buildings, for example, require a certain post-closing liquidity, which means that after the closing, you should still have enough money for approximately two years worth of maintenance and mortgage payments. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you found these tips useful. If you have any questions or are considering buying in New York City, do not hesitate to contact myself or any of my team members. Catch you next time on another episode of an insider guide to New York City. Thank you.